What you're not gonna do is talk to me like that. I say whatever the f I want. Really? Yeah, really. But the following morning in the Holiday Platter Challenge. Oh, hello. Screw the competition. I'm going with these ladies. Hassan scored big points for his new team with his Senko de Mayo Sope. It's all my favorite things. Hassan, welcome to the red team. While the blue team were hurt by Alan's Arroz Campoyo, which was no bueno. I'm not too sure the authenticity of the Cinco de Mayo. And Kevin's Mardi Gras inspired jambalaya. The rice is undercooked. Is that worthy of the point? Unfortunately not. These two misses by the blue team made it a lot easier for the red team to score a victory. Congratulations, red team. At dinner service, it was family night in the kitchen. And while the red team was a dysfunctional mess. Mistake after mistake after mistake. Nobody's on the same page. Over in the blue kitchen. Kevin, how long? Where are the scallops? Kevin was a problem child. Overcooked, raw. This is a joke. What in the is going on in here? And Chef Ramsay was not happy with just a timeout. You, get your apron off, get packed, and off out. And so, yeah. in the middle of service, Kevin was kicked out of Hell's Kitchen for good. Unfortunately, neither team really recovered. Pathetic. Ah! Embarrassing. Raw fish! Lazy. Get out! Get out! Get out! <sighs> Embarrassing tonight. In the dorm, Ashley had Jackie's back. I can't justify putting her up because of her growth on the past few days. But in front of Chef Ramsay... Ashley, week is two. It was more like a knife to the back. Amanda and Jackie, Chef. Despite Ashley's preference, the majority of the red team nominated. Amanda and Kristen. And the blue team nominated. Alan. Along with. Joe. But it was. Alan. Who said goodbye to his dream of becoming head chef at BLT Steak at Bally's in Las Vegas. As for the red team, Kristen was spared. Back in line. And Manda. You are now in the blue team was reassigned. I'm just so happy to be on the blue team. Every single person on that red team is that crazy. Get out of here. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Ashley definitely showed her true colors today. Two-faced, and both faces is ugly, so she got really on that deal. Ashley, why are you so full of if you said Chef Ashley so we could chef, I would have sat there like with my mouth shut. Did you or did you not say that I was better than Kristen, Amanda, and a lot of people? You are two-faced. I do not give a what you think yeah, of me. Yeah, obviously. I just don't like two-faced fake-ass bitches with fake-ass Who gives a if I have fake boobs? You're fake. Dude, shut the up, dude. You know what I should be doing? Breaking your face right now. You know, you should have watched like how to cook videos before you came here. Oh, you upset? Go cry in your room, little girly. Just stop talking, Jackie. You could never run a kitchen, honey. Never in a million years. Oh, who? Who? Scared-ass bitch. Oh, Chef Ramsay, Jackie's the weakest. Get the f out of my face. During the signature dish, I beat this bitch, I beat that bitch, I beat that bitch. I tied your fluffy-headed ass. <laughs> We're not turning into that. You're not turning I'm the only level-headed person That's all on they that need. Team. Well, you're blue now. My prayers have been answered. Ain't no chance in hell you're getting me back on that team. Oh, no. Donkeys over there. Yeehaw! Donkeys, yo. Nobody should be talked to that way. Right. I would never disrespect somebody like that. It's a competition. We're not here to be friends, but you can't talk to somebody like that. Go ahead and be a bully, and but at the end of the day, I'm going to be here long after you. I'm here for you. Thank you.
after a night of high drama. Hello? I need everyone to get dressed and get outside. An early morning wake-up call has the chefs off and running. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Line up. Right, good morning. Good morning, morning chef. Sometimes when I need inspiration, I take a trip down to the local market. There's nothing more inspiring than fresh ingredients, right? Yes, chef. Today's challenge, I'm giving all of you the opportunity to cook with whatever fresh ingredients you want. How good does that sound? Great, chef. Yes. A chef's dream, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. As a team, you'll be gathering ingredients, but you will not be shopping in there. You'll be shopping out here. Marino. Oh, no. Oh. Si, chef. Buongiorno. <laughs> oh, el cucina. <laughs> Buongiorno, chef. Bibidi boobidi, yes, chef. Boobidi ba. Andiamo, bibidi boobidi. Buongiorno. What are we waiting for? Marino, bring out the rest of the cars. Let's go, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Not even in order. Oi. Oh, are you kidding me? There was a lot of scrambled letters out there. It was like alphabet soup out in the parking lot of that grocery store. Today, as a team, you're all going to be spelling out the names of ingredients that you wish to work with. Everybody on your team will be using the same ingredients for their individual dish. Your 10 minutes starts now. Good luck. In the first part of today's challenge, each team's teamwork, communication, and judgment will be tested as they will have just 10 minutes to correctly spell the six ingredients do we want to do fish or meat or that they all must later use to create their own individual dishes. Yes. I think that's that's that fish. Yeah, we immediately agree to salmon. No, I'll start it. And we're in the middle of this whole sea of cards, and it's just like letters all over the place. Yes. We need an A. I got it right here, right here. So like a cheerleader again. It's like S A L M O N. Make sure your spelling's right. What are you guys getting next? Beef. Beef? Two minutes gone. Come on, red team. Um, what do you guys think? Squad, right? Let's, go, let's so, work with squad. We need another S. I'm, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. We need another S. We are dying for S's. We need two S's. Get the no no S on beef. Beef. Red team all over the place. We've got no S on beef. So then you're going to end up with one beef. Well, let's just do beef. Singular. Look, the S is back there. Yeah, right. <laughs> While the red team seems to be S out of luck. Five minutes to go, halfway. The blue team seems to be having no problems getting the letters they need. Hey, 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 I need two more, two more. It was almost like a demolition derby. <laughs> okay, we got one. Moving on, what are we doing? L-E-M-O-N. Two and a half minutes to go. Go, go, go. I'm running my ass off, almost passed out. I need an A. I sweated like three sizes down. I'm like a B cup now. Fingerling, what are you guys grabbing next? 60 seconds to go. All right, guys, we got one more. What's the last one? Rice. Rice? Rice? rice. rice. I don't want to do rice, Jerry. Rice. 20 seconds, let's go. I got it, I got it, boo. We need it. Five, four, we're solid. Three, two, one. Okay. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Wow. Great array of ingredients. However, I would love you all to have some creative freedom. When I say go, you've all got 60 seconds to run into the grocery store and grab one amazing ingredient that will set your dish apart. Your one minute starts now. Produce. Vino in the back, Joe. Vino in the back. Tomato. The produce. My chef shoes are not really the best for a sprint, but I immediately go for bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Where's the Jersey tomato? Hurry up, Jack. Hurry up. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Let's go. Back at Hell's Kitchen, each chef will have 30 minutes to create a unique dish using the six ingredients they spelled out as a team. 30 minutes and counting. Let's go. Plus, the one special ingredient they selected to elevate and set their dish apart. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Chef. What are you making? Um, I think I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. Do a little tomato salad with some fennel. Tomatoes? Really? You have everything in the 
grocery store and you go for tomatoes, we're all kind of looking at Amanda like, this is your time to shine. And I'm already nervous. Are you all using the same type of rice? No. No. I got basmati down. I'm doing black rice. I'm going to take a risk and go for the black rice, even though I know it's a long cook time. It pairs really well with salmon. I feel like I can make it work. Just over 10 minutes to go. Yes, hurt, yes. Minutes, yes. Hurt. Coming down, coming down. Hurt, hurt. Watch this halibut, guys. Somebody whose halibut is this? Watch it. Mine, I know. Hoss, this is like kind of burning. Right here, you got to figure something out yeah, real I fast. I got to get out of a situation, and I know I can fix it. I know I can come back. I think I'm going to cut the end off. You're at a point right now, you got to make it the best you can. Jackie, come on. You need to figure your out, because you're obviously all over the place. 60 seconds to go. Come on, blue team. Guys, how are we looking? We should be plating. We should I'm be plated, almost done. Somebody taste this rice for me. Salt. You need salt bad. Got it. Very hot, very hot. Five. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done, guys. I have a lot riding on this dish. Please don't let me feel like I need to prove myself to these guys. OK, listen carefully. Today, I'll be judging each dish on a scale of one to five. Clearly, the team with the most points at the end wins the challenge. Let's begin with the blue team. Chad, bring your salmon up. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let's get it. Uh, describe the dish, please. Uh, poached salmon. You've got the black rice finished with parsnip puree, and then the grapefruit fennel mignonette on top of the salmon. Puree is delicious, Chad. Thank you. And the salmon's cooked perfectly. Rice, it's undercooked. I mean, I feel like I'm in Afghanistan with a mouthful of bullets. I can only give you a three. All right. I'm just really disappointed. Stupid, stupid mistake. With Chad's misfire on the black rice. That's all right. All eyes are now on Eddie, who will try and score big with his pan seared salmon and white wine Swiss chard. That salmon's cooked beautifully. So that is a very strong four. Good job. Thank well you, Chef. I'm just so happy. I kind of wanted to give him a hug. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Chef. With a strong showing from Eddie. Frank, let's go. It's Frank's turn to impress with his pan seared salmon and brandy cream sauce. Salmon's cooked beautifully. However, a little bit too much cream there. It's just three. Thank, Thank you. There you go, Frankie. Yeah. Blue team so far, 10. Now, the pressure is on Jared with his salmon, white rice, and orange fennel salad. Salmon's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. However, rice is plain. It's a three. Three out of five. Yes, Thank chef. you. Amanda, let's go. Yes, Chef. Let's go, let's go. Excuse me, boys. Your debut dish on the blue team, what is that? Um, so I have a pan-seared salmon with a tomato fennel salad on top. Love the fennel and tomato salad. That's a very solid four. Good job. Good job. Hell yeah, we'll take this chick on our team. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Well I needed this little boost of confidence for myself, and I needed these girls over here to see what they just lost. Good job. Thank you. So far, the blue team have accumulated a respectable score. But with one dish left to taste. Let's go, Joe. The pressure is now on go. Joe to deliver for his team. Describe the dish, please. I have a pan seared salmon with creamy leeks and char. I mean, it looks very simple. But it delivers a delicious punch. Joe, that's a five. Thank you. Yeah, Joey! Yeah, Joey! Yeah, Joey. Yeah, Joey, that's how you bring it home, boy. Yeah, Joey, yeah. Uh, blue team, 22 out of 30. That's a very, very strong start. Everybody Red team, you got your work cut out for you. Jackie, let's go. I'm confident on my dish. I mean, I know the fish did not come out the way I wanted, but the way I plated it, it looked beautiful. That bit there looks like a dog's chewed at it. Why is it like that? What have you done to it? You know, I like my dishes small. I don't give a what you like. Where's the other piece of halibut? So far in today's challenge, the blue team has scored an impressive 22 points, and Jackie is up first for the red team. You know, I like my dishes small. I don't give a you like. But it doesn't appear as though Jackie's halibut is making the cut. Where's the other piece of halibut? Oh, I cut the end off. I thought it was too big, chef. Jackie, that looked like a halibut had been thrown on the road and seared with the grill of a car. Two out of five. Piss off. After Jackie's poor showing, Ariel is looking to make up ground with her 
pan-seared halibut and a bacon back vinaigrette. Um, there's white wine to kind of add a sweet element to the dish. That's five for five. Thank Good you. job. Thank Brilliant. you so much, sir. Nice. Ariel, that's one of the most delicious dishes you've done so far in this competition. Thank Bye. you so much, sir. Thank you. Up next is Hassan with his halibut and andouille sausage hash. The dish is missing one thing. What is that, chef? It's called a sauce. This is a three out of five. After Hassan's disappointing dish, it's Kristen's turn to try and wow Chef Ramsay with her almond and brown butter sauce. Beets, a touch crunchy. That's the only defect on that dish. That's a solid four. Good Thank job. You, chef. Really good job. After a strong showing from Kristen. Danny. Come on, Danny. Danny is up next with her halibut topped with apricot chutney. Just a tad too sweet. Danny, that's a three out of five. Back in line, please. Yes, chef. Last up. Ashley, let's go, please. As the last member of the red team, Ashley must score a perfect five to tie the blue team. Describe the dish, please. Uh, what I have for you is a pan-seared halibut with the sweet curry broth. You know, it's sweet and spicy, but aromatic. Ashley, that's a five for five again. Good job. Yes. Uh, brilliant. Really good job. That's 22 to the red, 22 to the blue. I'm going to break the tie with the best dish overall. So, high score in the blue was Joe. Uh, Aaron Ashley, bring your dishes back, please. You got this, brother. Philly brethren, Joey. It's the city of brotherly love we come from, and the brotherly love is there. Come on, bud. You got this. Oh, this is so tough. Uh, the dish of the day. Belongs to Ashley. Well done. Red team wins. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Oh, it's the best feeling there is. <laughs> I've been waiting my entire life to hear him say those words. I have thrown some twists and turns your way, but today I am throwing in some loops and barrel rolls because all of you are going to be soaring through the air in an amazing stunt plank. <laughs> I'm very excited. They don't let my people on stunt planes. The experience is once in a lifetime. Go and get changed because your ride is waiting. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Ashley, well done. Thank you. Good job. Blue team, I am putting a unique Spanish twist on tomorrow night's service. No Spanish night would be complete without a jug of tequila. Sangria. Thank you, Joe. So. I want the ingredients uh, prepared by hand, all the apples peeled, quartered, diced, and then those grapes as well. Not an easy task. Now, piss off. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Thank you, Chef. I might as well go beat my against the door and see which punishment feels worse. I wanted to go up in the stump planes. While the blue team is grounded in Hell's Kitchen, the victorious red team is about to take flight. Oh, you can't smoke in here. <laughs> Jackie, I don't hate you if I die, okay? I don't hate you either if we die. I could die at any second. I don't want there to be any animosity. Jackie, how do I look? Adorable. I think Jackie and I have kind of buried the hatches. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh, my Lord. OK, you got it. You fly it for me. Ease forward, build up some speed. Uh, I didn't do any training for this. And give me a roll to the left on the count of three. Two, one, hard left, go, hard over. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> my stomach was in my throat, my throat was in my <laughs> I felt like I was gonna like cry and puke and laugh all at the same time. Look out the side. I thought I birthed a teenager in that thing. That's how much I was clenching. <laughs> While the red team is having the thrill ride of their lives, the blue team's punishment is the pits. It's really blows. I think 
think Joe's getting out that little bit of rage that built up from losing the competition. Pain in the ass. Joking it. These grapes are bitch. I just got in the eyeball. Shit, Ramsey, please, just like, don't do me like this. I hate grapes. I hope someone out on the street asked me to peel them a grape. You're gonna be working with somebody in the back. Yeah, we got some grapes to peel. I'm gonna go burn the first vineyard I see to the <laughs> ground. I don't care if it's that Martha's <laughs> bitches either. <laughs> you psycho. Coming up next, will Joe's behavior go from bad? He's going to the wrong table, Joe. I just don't know where the it is. To worse. You are dirty, you are slow. Get the out of there. After a day in which the red team soared and the blue team labored. Morning, Morning chef. chef. Morning, chef. Morning, chef. Morning, chef. Both teams are in the kitchen early to prep for dinner service. How much um, cream are you putting in the beurre blanc? I do about a cup, and then you reduce it down to half. So a pint? A half a pint. I do a cup. A pint or a half a pint? I do it a cup. Where's the cup measure? I don't. I do it by eye a cup. You can't measure a cup with your eyes? It's not my fault that Ariel can't measure out a cup with her eyes. You're a girl. You're a chef. You should know what a cup size is. OK? Look you ready. don't do it Done. by eye. There's a recipe for a reason. You are <laughs> aggravating me right now. Jackie, when your best friend in this competition is starting to get annoyed with you, then you know you have a serious problem. So you need to make this for a blanc, bro. Here, you need to do this. I'm not doing it by eye. I follow recipes. Let's go. Ariel, vocal, leadership qualities, yes? Yes, chef. Good. Hassan. Yes, chef. Cooking with confidence. Always, Timing. chef. Timing, not getting backed up, yes? Yes, chef. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Gerard. Yes, chef. Attack service, yes? Yes, chef. Stop boiling for the risotto. Good. Maria. See, si, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Let's go. Once again, the restaurant is fully booked with anxious diners determined to experience everything Hell's Kitchen has to offer. I'm pretty much sold on anything that says truffle in it. There's four of us. Let's take one of each. One of each. Doors are open. Ticket time. I'm going to rock it out today, guys. Tonight, in addition to the classic menu, the the Chef Ramsay has added an octopus romesco special. You want a nice crunchiness to it. Which will be served tableside by Kristen for the red team and Joe for the blue team. First right order, here we go. Red team, good luck. On order, four covers, table 32. One special lap table, two risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Two risotto. How long until you're out? You got three minutes yet, Ariel? I got three minutes, babe. Okay, I got my tails going right now. I'm feeling very confident that I'm working the fish station. I'm gonna rock it out just like I rock it out every day. I'm not sweating it at all. Walk into the pass of the first two risottos. Chef, two risottos right behind you. Ariel. Yes, Chef. Delicious. Thank you, Chef. Where's the lobster? Come on, Hassan. Just hurry up. 10 seconds, Chef. 15 seconds. I'm sorry, Chef. Hot. You look like you're melting into the lobster. I guess it's the red team secret ingredient. Hey, young man. Yes, yeah, Chef. You're sweating into the lobster. It's dripping. I don't want a lobster covered in your sweat. Is it a bandana or something, please? While Hassan sweats over a refire on his first appetizer, the blue team starts on their first order of appetizers. On order four covers table 22. One special table side. One carbonara, two scallops. Yes, yes chef. chef. Hey, two minutes on those scallops. Two minutes, two minutes out. Why do we call back, Jared? Why do we call back? So we communicate, so we know each other's times. When I learned this system, it was in French. And when you're begging for one more minute, it was crucial we got one more minute. You've got to talk, yes? We. Yeah. Oui. <laughs> What the hell is going on? All of a sudden, Jared is speaking in French. We. Oui. So they are really super hot now. So you lift them up there as well. We. Oui. Okay. And that comes over there. So you're there now. We. Oui. Yeah, there you go. Are you kidding me? Frank, I can sell the carbonara first. We. Oui. Try to talk like that in Brooklyn. You know what happened? I would pick this thing up, right? I would pick this up and I would put it over his head. All right, guys, we're getting off to a great start. Keep it going. We're not slowing down, we? Service, please. With Jared saying au revoir to the first order of the evening. You're good. You're good. Hassan and Ariel. Two minutes, not even on my tails, OK? Bird, I got you, baby. Are trying to bid adieu to their first appetizer. Two minutes on my risotto, two minutes on the lobster tail. We're all going to meet up.
get the pass at the same time. Perfect, perfect. Ariel, always a sign of a great leader. Supporting the weakest and get them to the very top. Seriously? These bitches need to bottle my sweat and drink it. It'll make you a better line cook. Risotto chef right in between here. Lobster tail chef. Good. Delicious the risotto. Ariel. Got off to a good start. Keep it up now, OK? Yes, chef. Don't start sitting back, yes? All right, Chef. If I want to impress Chef Ramsay, I just have to be a beast. I'm always a beast. I was born a beast, all right? And I will be a beast from here on out. <gasps> Ariel has her team off to a fierce start, impressing not only Chef Ramsay. Ready? Service, please. But the customers as well. Really good. Meanwhile, Joe is struggling just to find his diners. He's going to the wrong hey, table, Eddie. Joe. Yeah, What's going 23, on? 23. 23. 23. Yeah, what do you need? I just need to know where the is. What's he doing there? What's that <laughs> little donkey doing out there? Hey, 23, is this right? I'll show you. What's your language? Regardless of what's going on in my head or in the kitchen, I'm a people person. I'm always good with the people. How you doing today? I'm hungry. Have a good Oh, OK. Well, we'll, uh, we'll fix that in a hurry. I can always turn on the charm. Romesco sauce, potatoes. Joe. Yeah? Move your ass. Here you go, enjoy. Joe, get your ass in here, now. My mom never yelled at me this much. Are you, come here, you. Yes, chef. What's all this on here? It's a brand new jacket. Be like a sack of on a hot day. You are dirty, you are slow. Get the out of here. Get out! It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and Joe's sense of direction. He's going to the wrong table, Joe. And lack of cleanliness. What's all this on here? It's a brand new jacket. As Chef Ramsay at the end of his rope. You are dirty, you are slow. Get the f out of here. Get out! Get changed, hurry up! I don't have another clean chef. Find one, I don't care, find one. You do have to chow to New York strip. What do you need? What do you need? Come, come on! I would never think of talking back to Chef Ramsay. But part of me was like, yo, bro, what the you want me to do about it? You want me to feed these tables, or is this a fashion show? While Joe gets on another chef jacket, the red team is suiting up for entrees. Right, Danny, Jackie, Yes. over to you now, OK? Yes, chef. Entree to New York's trip to Wellington. Yes? Got it, chef. Yes, chef. Six minutes to the window. All right, red team, we got this. There's no room for error. Let's go. Where you at, Jackie? How long you need? Jackie? Jackie, can she slice two strips to Wellington? Yeah, get, yeah. Walk in with garnish. How long, Danny? I got strip right here for you, chef. Come on, Danny. Right now, chef. Right behind. Red team. Yeah, all of you, come here. New York strip, pink, right? Yes, yeah, chef. Visually, what does that look like? Well done. Well done. I'm not sending it. I don't want you to send my mistake. No chef. way. Jackie, you just completely screwed me. I held on to my steak a little longer because garnish wasn't ready. Fire two more. Come on, let's go. Fat. Pick it up, pick it up. While Danny refires her New York strip, back in the blue kitchen, Frank on fish and Chad on meat are trying to push out entrees. You have to chop to New York strip. How long? We're going in three minutes. Charles are out there resting. Heard that char? Getting your garnish on now. Are you serious now? Let me get my pan working. Eddie's got no garnish in the pan. Garnish, are you ready? Give me another 20 seconds. Eddie! The garnish is going to be a little late, so just bear with it and we get it out. Hey, young man. I'm dying. Two out of char, two New York strip. How far? I had them right here, chef. So where are they? Eddie! Are you ready? 20 seconds out on the garnish. So they're going to be overcooked? Hey, blue team, overcooked char. Look at that <laughs> bit of leather. Refire, two out of char, two more New York strip. And that's quickly. Yes, chef. Get your <laughs> potatoes on. Yes, chef. With Eddie's time management issues taking Frank back to square one. Over in the red kitchen, Danny is trying to perfect her New York strip. Four minutes to the window, two New York strip to Wellington. Yes, chef. So we're going to, um. Uh, All right. Do you need help? If anybody's not busy, come and help me. One of you ladies, please, somebody help her right now. She's overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed. 
We don't need your ego, bro. You just need to step aside and let someone come help you. That's it. Three minutes to the window with two strips and two Wellington. What? Two strips, two Wellington. Two strips, two Wellington. It's coming. I need minutes. Minutes? How many minutes? That's not the kind of communication that we need in the kitchen. Go help her on garnish. Her, what do you need? Two strip, two Wellington. Two strip, two Wellington? Yes, that's for the New York. The fries are done. This is two orders, correct? Uh, yes. Heard? Walking with fries. Garnish in the window. I'm just getting my sauce together. I can go on the strip. Hey, red team. Two New York strip. I got one hour portion of fries. Sorry, chef. Look at the way we're finishing. Half the garnish is missing, and there's no <laughs> momentum. Just dropping fries, Just dropping fries. With Jackie's garnish stalling the red team over in the blue kitchen. Garnish is going. Frank is ready with his refire of his Arctic char. No, you guys have to get better, okay? okay put it down, put it down. Yeah. Cartoon on right here. Oh, please let this dish be fine. Please let him like it. Blue team, redemption. Two cover table 23, fire two chicken. CSI Miami actor. Hey, don't f this up. Yes, chef. You guys are really waiting for that chicken. Waiting for that chicken. I've worked in Michelin star restaurants, so you know the guys are looking at me as the as the go-to guy in the kitchen. I'm gonna help lead us to victory. Slicing chicken. Martin is walking right now. And hut, hut. Chicken in the pus. All of you, come here. What is wrong with that? A little undercooked, Chef. Pink. You worked at a three-star Michelin restaurant. Cook chicken right. Oh, you take a seat. Get in there. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, have some more bread. Start out. There's no room for the chicken. Get in there. CSI stands for crime scene investigator, not your chicken sucks, idiot. So who wants to eat raw chicken? Nobody chef. Nobody chef. Who wants to eat raw chicken? It's more than an hour and a half into dinner service, and Chad's chicken. What is wrong with that? A little undercooked, chef. Pink. Has led Chef Ramsay to take an informal poll. Who wants to eat raw chicken? Nobody chef. So why are you expecting them to do it? Get a grip! Yes, yes sir. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on. if you need one more Just minute... Just say it. Chef! I need one more minute. I need one minute. Look yes, at me. Chef. Shout at me. I need one more minute. Chef, I need one more minute Louder. on the chicken. Louder. I need one more minute on the chicken. Louder. I need one more minute on the chicken. I still can't hear you. I need one more minute on the chicken. Man! I'm honestly surprised that Chef Ramsay didn't put a boot up his Walking to the pass. Walking to the pass. Yeah, let's cook. With Chad now delivering unacceptable chicken. Yeah, that looks good. Both teams are pushing out the last of their entrees. Can we finish on a high? Can we get something together? Come on, guys, yes. This is a knockout round. Let's knock it out, guys. Guys, pull it together, all right? We're working together. I'm slicing walling right now. Garnish, walk into the window. Go, 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 go. Behind you hot, behind you hot. Coming to the pass, chef, on your left. Service, please. Can I have a second? Two of you on dessert, the rest of you clear down. I buy him so full. I know. You get a doggy bag. Both kitchens got off to the best start so far in this competition. Phenomenal. And then both kitchens nosedived. And both kitchens lost tonight. But there were two chefs. One from each kitchen who did have a bloody good service. Ariel, vocal, assertive, and in control from start to finish. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Jared, great, confident, strong performance. Thank you. I want you both to go back to the dorms and have one on ones with each of your teammates and then decide which two chefs deserve to be nominated. Get out of here. Guess what, bitches? I got all the power. <laughs>
if I call your name and you're on the patio, you're, you're, you're going up for elimination. The way I look at this decision is, if I was head chef at BLT Steak, who would I trust more on my line? What happened tonight? I mean, garnish went down hard. Uh, with me, it was just lack of communication. I might have slacked on a few of the uh, garnishes, but I thought everything was pretty solid. My biggest concern with you is that you've been struggling thus far. You know what, dude? Go yourself. Jared's making this personal because he's afraid of the competition. Don't put me up there. That's petty, and you know it. I feel I've been getting better. All right. Thanks. All right, but you know that I love you, but I'm putting you up for elimination. Why? Because just like I, when I heard Haas say, someone help Jackie, she's overwhelmed. And you said, I'm not overwhelmed. I'm, I wasn't overwhelmed. But it's not necessary. You needed help. You needed help all night. We don't have room for your ego in the kitchen. Because that's how you do it. And so, you and you and so you. So you should have said, 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 I'm not going to use it. You should have cut your own butter. I don't want to have that kind of conversation. You need to change your attitude. You need to be held accountable so, for it. Ariel wants a little puppy dog to just do what she says. Well, that's not me, bitch. I'm a bulldog. And I'm going to ram you right with my head. Tell me about tonight. Overall, I think I did great. That's and that's my opinion. Okay. Making a hard decision. You want to send the next person in? This is ridiculous. Jared got hit with a little responsibility, and now you know he's just acting like the godfather. Did your case? No, no. I need to step it up during service a little bit more. You've worked with me long enough now to know mm -hmm. what I bring to the table. Okay. Serious. I get a little dirty and I get a little frantic, but it's not a reason to go home. You're enjoying this a little too much, too. So what happened tonight? All right, well, the mistake, obviously, was chicken goes out, and it needed 30 more seconds in the pan. Dude, you put a pink chicken. But I bounced back. You know, that's where I stand. All right. This is hard. Oh, this is hard, Kristen. I really like you, even though we don't get along, but I'm putting you and Jackie out for elimination. You went over to like help her with the french fries, and that didn't, it came out an order and a half. That was the french fries Jackie had dropped. I literally just dropped them. I mean, dropped. you come over there to help. You gotta double check, you it gotta was... look. I think as a leader, it's a terrible decision. Ariel is the last person that should be having any power in this house. If you think I did something wrong, like bring it to my attention. You've got power and you're making a bad decision based on how you personally feel. I personally don't feel any type of way about anybody in this bitch. What are you talking about? All you do is run around here with a crown on your head. Well, thanks for noticing, sweetheart. I'm a strong black woman. There's always a crown on my head. I didn't do anything to take the team down. I'm not going to change my mind. Ridiculous. I think you're out of control. After a dinner service where both teams lost, Chef Ramsey singled out Ariel and Jared for their strong performances and instructed them to each nominate two members of their team for elimination. Ariel, red team's first nominee, and why, please? Chef, my first nominee is Jackie. She has a bit of an ego and an attitude in the kitchen, and there's no room for that during service. Second nominee, and why? My second nominee tonight is Kristen, Chef. Kristen? Yes, Chef, Kristen. When she came back into the kitchen to help, there was a problem with the amount of french fries that went up, and there was an excuse about that. OK. Gerard's blue team's first nominee, and why? First nomination, Chef, is Eddie. Eddie failed on garnish today. In high pressure situations, he seems to crumble. Second nominee and why? Second nomination is Joe. Joe, he's a sloppy mess, and he doesn't know what's going on in the kitchen. It's recipe for disaster, chef. Jackie, Kristen, Joe, and Eddie, step forward, please. Eddie, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have yet to show you everything I got. You know, there's three methods you could do. Lead, follow, or get the hell out of the way. I haven't gotten out of the way. Now, obviously, I have to stand up and lead. Joe, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have much more to prove here, Chef. Not just to you or my team, but to myself, to see if I am as good as I think I am. 
Jackie, are you taking this competition serious? Yes, I am, Chef. I'm a natural leader. I have a strong voice. I have confidence. I stay focused. That's why I believe I should stay. Kristen. Yes, Chef. Back in line. Thank you, Chef. This is hard. Joe. Back in line. Yes, Chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Eddie, take off your jacket. Your time is done, young man. Six services in. I can't wait any longer. Not a problem, Chef. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I was here for a reason, and that reason was the win. I guess I tried too much to be a team player and help too many people besides myself. Just watch what happens to that blue team. They're going to crumble. I guarantee you, a member of that red team is the one who takes everything home. Story of my life, nice guys finish last. I was so encouraged by the start of service, and I seriously thought that we were on a roll. Get out of here. Ariel, you up tonight, and everybody saw it. Chef Ramsay gave you the reins, and you made the worst decision. Good job. It's starting to get hairy out there, man. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog kitchen. The expectations are higher now than ever, so I got to step on my game. Ariel, you did teach me a good lesson. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. I'm coming back stronger and stronger. Eddie couldn't lead, and he certainly couldn't follow. And so it was time to get the out the way. Next time, Hell's Kitchen hosts an exclusive wedding reception. She's so gorgeous. And the pressure to impress. It needs to be perfect. Is just. Come on, speed up, Jackie. Too. You cannot be serious. Much. I'm pissed the f off. Could it create a monster? You want to speak to me, you say, Frank. 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 You heard of Bridezilla. Frank. Get ready for Chef Zilla. First comes love. Looks like the bison's penis. Then comes marriage. That's how you communicate. Then comes baby, 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 baby. 